We're beginning here about safety at your job and safety and how important safety is at your job and understanding that you are the only one that can be safe at your job. They can do all the safety training in the world, but if you don't follow it, you may get hurt. And we don't want that. You want to be healthy. Um, my reasoning for being safe at my work is I love to fish. I can't imagine having a broken leg because I fell off something at work and now I can't fish. Or I have a finger or fingers cut off in the shop and now I have to think of a new way to start fishing. So my reason for being safe that I always think about is I want to be able to fish after work. I don't want work to take away fishing from me. On your sheet, what I'd like you to do is fill out the answer to this question. What's your reason for being safe at work? What do you like to do outside of school? Where do you like to go? Next, you definitely have a responsibility with job safety. Your responsibilities are, you have to learn how to work safely at your job. Every job has different hazards, and you need to learn about them and know how to protect yourself from those hazards. And you need to follow the protocols. Even if it takes a little bit longer to go find a ladder, instead of using a chair to get something high, you need to follow the protocols so you don't accidentally fall off the chair, hurt yourself, and then you end up not being able to do what you want to do after work. Here's a couple ideas here. Take a look at the left there. They're changing that light bulb up high. Ah, uh, they didn't have a tall enough ladder, so they just happened to put it on a couple boxes there. Not the best method. And then I'll let you watch this video here quick. Now, impressive forklift driving skills, absolutely, but maybe not the safest item. So what I'd like you to do is on your note sheet again, fill out what's your responsibility with job safety, and then for slide number five, write down what was unsafe about this slide. Slide six is going to be a video about teen workers. I won't play through this. You'll have to look for that video in Schoology and then you'll be able to answer the following questions. What were the mistakes and who was responsible for the mistakes? Answer that on your paper. On assignment number one in job safety, Course one, so if this is the first time you've taken the course, you're gonna have a discussion question. Post the three takeaways from the video. How does this video change your way of thinking about job safety? What is something at your work you currently, or the, at your work currently that seems routine, but could hurt you if you're not paying special attention? If you're in course two, what I'd like you to do is find a person that's been injured on the job and find out what went wrong. Describe the preventative steps that could have been taken to not be injured. If you're in course number three or four, explain a close call that you had at work. 
If you have not had a close call, what's the most hazardous thing you do at work? What happened? What could have happened? What should you have done to prevent it? Hint here, the answer cannot be, I've never had any close calls. So now we have an understanding of safety at work and what safety at work is all about. Now it's time to get into the regulations of safety at work. OSHA. OSHA sometimes has a negative connotation when you talk to employers and stuff, but really OSHA is there. If we understand why OSHA is there, it's pretty cool. OSHA is there so that I can go fishing at the end of the day instead of going to the hospital. So OSHA stands for Occupational, so your job, Safety, and Health Administration. So OSHA is the administration or the group of people that protect people's health and safety at work. So Occupational Safety and Health Administration. Hint there, that's a great text question. How OSHA came to be? There was a representative that noticed in the last 20, the 25 years previously, more than 400,000 Americans were killed by work-related accidents. Killed, didn't go home. They didn't go home to their family afterwards. And close to 50 million people suffered disabling injuries on the job. 50 million people couldn't go fishing after work because they had something disabling them. He also went on to state, not only has this resulted in incalculable pain and suffering from workers and their families, but such injuries have cost billions of dollars in lost wages in production. So now, not only are the workers understanding that it's very unsafe to work in this, these areas, but companies are understanding that they're losing money in training people and losing good employees and all of that. And that's why we have to start really concentrating on workplace safety. On December 29, 1970, Richard Nixon signed the Occupational Safety and Health Act of 1970. So the Occupational Safety and Health Act of 1970, the law formed the Occupational Safety and Health Administration. 1970 was not that far ago. Yes, it's black and white TV. I understand that. But it was not that long ago. Your parents slash grandparents had unsafe working conditions. OSHA, right here. Again, saw horses close by, uh, let's use the guy's back. Try to see how this cuts. And that concludes our direction for today. So what I would like you to do now is turn in your note sheet for this video along by taking a picture and uploading it to the assignment on Schoology, along with posting to your reflection pages on Schoology as well.